The following program was produced by an independent community producer. The opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the ECAT staff or board of directors. Gail Devins and welcome to Discover Easton, where we discover Easton. So today I am so excited about this. This is incredible. Standing beside me is Frank Altieri, the co-founder of Shovel Town Brewery. And this is just going to be a, a great, we have been after Frank to have an interview for a long time. So thank you very much for, I know you're very busy. So thank you so much for having us here. You're welcome, and thanks for your patience. Oh. I, I, I really would love to have done it a million times, but uh, yeah, I know. You know it's a, it's it's very uh, challenging with the uh, two restaurants and um, yeah. uh, the work that we do. So yeah, yeah, it's uh, we're pretty it's busy here. Yeah. yeah. So here we are in Easton, but also as you mentioned, he has two restaurants. So where's the other one? It's um, so we um, renovated an old fire station in Foxborough, and that's called Station One, and it's in Foxborough Center, right nice. on the common. It's a great location, beautiful mm -hmm. building. Nice. It's a little bit different concept where it's more of a restaurant than oh, okay. a brewery, but it, it oh. serves all Shoveltown Brewery products, uh, including uh, wine and uh, distilled spirits, so we can oh, make really? cocktails so there too? and cocktails, really, wine okay, and, and our oh, beer. Oh, yeah. wow! And yeah. here at Shoveltown Brewery, it's pretty much just beer. beer. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, that sounds good. And so, what is your, what's your most sought after beer here at Shoveltown Brewery? Well, our our most popular beer uh, is a beer that um, is a New England style IPA. Mm -hmm. and it's called Fly Away, and that really um, kind of catapulted us into the beer scene. Um, that's oh, really? one that was very sought after and mm -hmm. uh, does very well in all instances. Yeah. New England style IPAs are very popular this time, mm -hmm. um, you know, with uh, the craft beer community, mm -hmm. and so uh, that is a very good one, and um, we believe, you know, it, it rivals all any of the other beers out there. So. Yeah, yeah, that's Fly Away great. is uh, is definitely our most sought after mm. um, in general, but we have a wide selection of beers and not mm -hmm. just IPA. So we have, for example, just recently we we um, uh, released our uh, very sought after Oktoberfest. Oh. So getting oh. into the season, yeah, we we're getting there. Fest. Yeah, yeah. And then shortly, uh, we will be introducing our pumpkin ale, which is oh. also very popular. Wow. But um, the summer wow. ale, you know, the seasonal, mm -hmm. the seasonal beers do really well. Yep. We have a Czech lager that is uh, well received with the beer community, and that's oh. a that's a difficult style to get right. Mm -hmm. um, and so we yeah. have one of the uh, a Czech lager that is very popular. It does really yeah. well. Yeah. Um, we also have, uh, surprisingly, we have the, uh, a peanut butter coffee stout no. that people love. Are you um, kidding me? Yeah. Can you actually, so when you drink that, right, you, do you taste the peanut butter right away or is it kind of like an aftertaste? No, you, there's a lot of peanut butter there. There's really? some coffee there and peanut really? butter. Really? Yeah. Wow. And you're more than welcome to try a oh, little brother. bit. Oh, <laughs> We, wow. We'll have to set up a little flight for you, and oh, we'll, uh, no. <laughs> we, we'll try a little bit of each. We'll it's try to generous. fly away the Patriot, uh, oh. Czech Lager, um, some Crunch, which is the peanut butter coffee stout, and um, wow. maybe another uh, Oktoberfest or mm -hmm. some some summer ale, one of those. So that'd be, wow, that's, that's interesting. Uh, as, um, it's very popular here for people to um, get a flight of beer, which is mm -hmm. four beers of their choice, and um, that allows them to sample 
Yeah, uh, instead of the uh, one beer and then your friend has something else and you're exactly, thinking, oh, I should have exactly. got that. So, right? Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. So you would get four, four to five ounce pours of oh, any, that's be any of our four beers. Any yeah, that's, beers wow. that, um, that's generous. We have. Wow, and that's great. Typically, we have about 16 beers, 16 different beers. 16? Yes. That's significant. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. You know, now before I forget, I wanted to ask you so, what made you want to do this you know for the biz for your business i mean what what caused you you, you mentioned flyaway that's what kind of set you off so what caused you to go into this i mean what's the story tell us the story about shuttletown brewery sure um so my business partner and i um jim mcsherry mm -hmm. um were jim got me uh, involved in home brewing he ha he was uh, home okay. brewing with some of his friends and uh, yeah. we we um, started to homebrew together mm -hmm. and I am an electrical engineer so I oh, built really? a system to homebrew on that was kind of computer controlled and wow. it was able That's to uh, reproduce beers huh. pretty pretty um, consistently yeah yeah and um, then we were asked um, so we, we we were known around town for being homebrewers yeah. and one of the um, committee members at the Children's Museum mm -hmm. came up with an idea to have a night at the Bruseum where they invited oh, I remember that. the yeah, craft I remember beer that. community yes. to come out and and, oh. uh, and we were part of that. Yeah. And as part of that um, event, there was a homebrew competition and, and oh, we really? were in a homebrew club at the time. We oh, invited wow. a bunch of our friends <laughs> and we had a great night. And um, oh, it's great. We didn't I don't think we won first prize on that one, but we oh, had okay. we we had second prize and a lot of accolades. And oh, okay. we said, hey, maybe we have something here. And wow. as with That's... every home brewer's dream is to start your own brewery. So okay. yep. we started the planning process and about two years later, then came up with uh, Shuffletown Brewery, this location. Um, and started the brewery here. Wow, that's amazing. And so now when did you start Station One? How far into the, how oh, many years? Station One you is, is recent. So we've been here so, since yeah. 2017, February. Oh, 2017? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. So, so yeah, so that's a yeah, recent five, thing. Five, six years, yeah, yeah. Seven years, yeah. Wow, so yeah. you're all over the place. I mean, that that is so much, you know, to have that restaurant, this restaurant, and everything yeah. like that. So, yeah. and, and as you can see here, I mean, look at this. Who in the world did that wall for you? That yeah, is amazing. So, um, one it's of our beautiful. Staff members, who's extremely talented. Really? They uh, did, that? did that? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Zach. Um, that is amazing. That. Zach Banza, Banza um, Media, okay. who's, a, a, you know, in town, has a, a, fo a photography business as well as oh, some media really? business. And, and he does and, this, too. And he did this. Wow. Us, yeah. That is amazing. It, it came out great. It came out fantastic. Yeah. It wow! It really was like the walls in here were a little dull. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, right. brought it right to life. So, yeah, <laughs> we're, we it. really appreciate um, Zach's talent. And That's great. And so now the stage here. So you have live music, right, on certain yeah, nights? Yeah. So um, I maybe want to step back just a little bit. Okay. One yeah. Of, one of the things when we founded um, Shovel Town Brewery, we wanted to be part of the community, contribute to the community have community events yeah. and give back to the community. Nice. I mean, and that's what we do. Yeah. You know, it's it's really built into our fabric. Yeah. So we have, we wanted to have a number of events that um, would bring the community together. You know, oh, okay. things that, yeah. that, that would be um, entertaining as well as, uh, you know, community involvement and mm -hmm. those kind of things. So yeah. um, on Wednesday nights, we have music bingo. Ooh, that sounds uh, like fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> On Thursday nights, we, it, Thursday nights are very busy. We have um, a open mic night. So if oh, people really? are interested in coming out and playing music of some type. Oh, whatever. Yeah, whatever they do kind yeah, of thing. They come yeah. out. They can come really? out and play. And do people yeah. actually do that? Do yeah, they actually? A, we get a, quite a, quite really? a crowd. Yeah, some wow. nights better than others. Yeah. Some <laughs> nights, you know, aren't, aren't as good. But yeah, yeah, yeah. we do that. And also on Thursday nights, we have two other community type events. We have a fun run that goes out of here. So oh, yeah. yeah, the runners come and they show up all about six o'clock and they go out for a run and then they come back and enjoy themselves. Oh, after. come on. And then wow. we also have a mountain biking club. 
Really? And Easton has some great mountain biking trails, as you may mm -hmm. may know. Yep. Um, in Borderland and yep. uh, even some other areas around here. Yeah. Um, the biking club goes out on Thursdays also, and they go out at six o'clock, mm -hmm. and they just have to go maybe, I don't know, not even a mile down um, Canton Street, oh, yeah. and then they can pick up the trails there, and it takes them all the way to Borderland and then oh, other I places. Didn't realize that. Yeah, so really? they, wow. yep, and so the Mountain Biking Club has a great uh, ridership, a great uh, community That's good event to know. there. Yeah. Wow. And, um, huh. It's open to all all abilities, but it tends to, you know, kind of be on the little bit of the upper side. Well, just, and, just the term mountain biking, <laughs> you know, it's like that gets me yeah. a little bit. So <laughs> and then Friday night we have trivia, which is uh, oh, that's well received. And a local guy does the trivia oh, yeah? for us and wow. he does a great job. Wow. Um, and then that's Saturday good. nights typically we'll have live music, Oh, okay. um, you know, maybe like duos and trios mm -hmm. and yeah and we do once in a while have a bigger band than that um, oh, okay like we had uh, off the coast that we used to know as you um uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. lunch me urban lunch me um oh, cool. clay and they they always draw a great crowd oh that's cool we have another crowd another uh well we have several different people who play but mm -hmm. um there's also uh um a band that's um, some doctors from Brockton area, oh, and they play. And get out! Really? really? Yeah, oh, that's they're cool. really good. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Wow. And, um, we usually get have a good turnout on a Saturday. Do you night, really? So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's so yeah. good. And it's like you said, it really is a community thing, right? Know? And that's Just, key uh, to us to bring the community together mm -hmm. around. You know, I think in our mission statement it says around good food beer and community is, yeah. is the things that we well, want to. Uh, now that you mentioned food, <laughs> I have to tell you, I have had their flatbread pizza. It is unbelievable. And you have different ones at different times, right? Yeah. So oh, um, it's just so good. Lex and the team here, um, oh, crazy uh, good. you know, come up with some we Different have some ideas. standard ones, but then yeah, they yeah. come up with some ideas. Yeah. They just did a summer one with um, uh, squash and uh, mm. tomatoes, Ooh. and it had red curry on it, which was really delicious. Really? Yeah, it was, wow. It wouldn't have been something I would have no, come up with. No, yeah. But, yeah. And oh, then that's some amazing. of the early ones, and one that's still very popular, my daughter came up with, which was uh, the fig and prosciutto with. Oh, um, I think that's yeah, what I arugula. had. That's, that's, that's always what I had. A, that's that's always the one I had. Oh. A, a really good one. Oh. So, so oh. our flatbreads are wow. very popular. Um, mm. We also offer pretzels and sandwiches oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Oh, that's, that's good. Uh, yeah, that's really good. And a beer oh. cheese that we uh, make with our own. Uh, we add our own beer to it to to the it, cheese to the beer cheese sauce. Yeah, really. It goes with the pretzels and it's oh, really delicious. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. Well, you know, also um, when I was at Hilliard's. And the, the candy there, the beer that you combine yeah. there, chocolate with the... Yeah, oh. they do. They have a couple of um, different things um, mm -hmm. that we've collaborated with them on. They have a, um, a the beer toffees, but also yes, they good. also have um, a beer brittle that, that was really popular. Oh, the beer brittle, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was yeah. also featured on uh, Oprah at one, <gasps> time, at one time. So No, yeah. they've are you gotten, kidding me? They've gotten some national exposure with, with their, I don't want to take, they really right, right, right. did that. They did it, but it's, still, it's but your we, product. They use our product and, and, yeah. That, and uh, yeah, we ship them over some beer every once in a while when they need it. And wow. uh, yeah. Isn't that yeah. great? That is so great. So that, wow. you know, again, not only do we like to, um, you know, be a part of the community, mm -hmm. we also like to support the business community. And yes. we do, we do a number of events and a number mm -hmm. of things where we can kind of partner with other other businesses, businesses and their and, events you know, that are going we've on. We've done things yeah. with Langwater Farm, with um, the oh. Farmer's Daughter, oh. Oh. Hilliards, for yep. example, yep. Yep. Simpson Springs. We used to do yep. um, a lot of stuff with them. Wow. Um, huh. And try to you know bring bring it all the, together exactly. Yeah. And, you know yeah. support the other businesses as long as yeah. well. So. And you were at the Oaks Ames. 
Memorial Hall for the con summer concert series. Yeah, that was great. There. there was some great that music great. this, yeah, this really season. Really yeah. good music this and year. We're looking forward to the 17th, right? We yes. Have a big, yes. Big party on the 17th. Big party on the 17th, September 17th. Yep. Yeah. So, be, so yeah, that'll, that's, that'll be good. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. So tell me, um, in regard to, so you mentioned you do things with businesses. Do you ever bring beer to say someone's having a big event somewhere? They're having a big family reunion. Yeah. Do you ever supply beer for that? We do. Or do you bring we do. It or we do, do, do a do number of number of events like that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, typically, if it's you know a private party, they could buy beer from us and yeah. serve it there. Yeah. Um, but we've also get um, requests to do uh, private parties at different at people's houses oh, as well as other events like with Flynn Farm for example mm -hmm. their um, uh, fall fest we've gone there with with uh, a mobile pizza yeah. pizza wagon and oh really done our pizza there really yeah. and pizza and beer awesome. and um, other places too that, yeah yeah so that's oh. that happens uh, quite frequently yeah. so in um, fact I have some this weekend that are oh you do uh, really yeah, some people private parties people are oh, coming okay in. Oh, that's good. Okay, so you actually will, um, someone, can someone come in here and have a party too? Yeah, or? oh yeah, yeah, we yeah. have, we, that's correct. We have a lot of parties here. Mm -hmm. um, we usually call them semi-private where they'll, you know, we'll All right, like they'll have a table or two yeah, tables or something. Yeah, maybe half the room yeah, or yeah, if yeah. they're big enough, we'll give them the whole you room. You reserve it, yeah. Right, and they, okay. they would have this space for their party. And, nice. And, uh, yeah, Lex, again, Lex does a great job with uh, coordinating those parties and oh, really? putting good. the food together. And, oh, that's uh, good. Yeah, so oh. we do showers. Um, do you really? Birthday parties, oh. retirement parties, you name it. Oh, that's it. good we've, to know, retirement yeah, parties too? Yeah, we've done, we've, mm. yeah, whatever event. Very we good. do a big party for the YMCA, the Old Colony YMCA every yep. year. They, you know, have an indoor and outdoor event. Oh, okay, um, yeah. Some events, oh. and for typically for um, businesses, if they want to have, say, a, a corporate party or whatever, um, they might do it on a Monday and Tuesday when we're normally closed, so they yep. could have the whole the run of the whole. Oh, that's place. awesome! That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, yeah. that's very good. Um, yeah. And then, hmm. and then also, like we've done, we are, and we're there's a couple coming up um, for the boosters of different athletic events. Okay, so right, yeah. The OA soccer yeah, or yeah, um, yeah. football boosters. Wow, that's um, huge. They a lot of usually people. have a party, yeah. and it, they they do a fundraiser here, and they if they can oh. you know ticket it right, and we get we help them out with that. They well, can great raise that. A, raise a wow. great amount of money for their cause. So yeah, we've good. done that for everything from um, you know the sports boosters to any of the Pan Mass Challenge, the Boston Marathon. Any of do that, you like really? That. You do that yeah. too. So people have come by, and yeah. So it's if you're running, running or biking, say in the Pan Mass Challenge, mm -hmm. and you want to raise some funds, you could hold a fundraiser here. Oh, okay. We help you with all. We have the logistics. We have the formula. It usually wow. works out pretty well for really? them. Yeah. So wow. they usually come in, uh, rent the space, um, you know, charge for charge their friends or family that are yeah, coming. Yeah, a certain amount. And, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. And they have a silent auction or maybe some oh, yeah, other yeah, things. Yeah. Huh. And that, that does really well. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So wow. that, that those events uh, happen quite frequently and really work out really well for, for everyone. You know, those are yeah. win-win on both sides. For yeah, sure. it sounds like. Now, so if I say I was going to have a retirement party for my yeah. husband or something, know when you're going to retire but someday you will but anyway so just say i wanted to host any something here what what's my first step i mean do i you contact just, you, yeah you go online and you can you can go online or you could email us or yeah email is the best info mm -hmm. at shoveltownbrewery.com oh, okay that's easy to remember. and then um yep and then send in your request and we'll okay We'll filter it and uh, work hmm. on it. Get back to you, you know, as fast as we with can. Details and with everything. details and yeah. some of the formulas that we have for for um, those type of events, depending on you know oh, what you okay. want to do. Oh, all right. If so it, I don't have to figure it out If it's a fundraiser all versus a private party, right? The, the, okay. It's just a different set of criteria yeah. that we kind oh, of. Oh, that come sounds up with. good. So I don't have to figure it all out myself. No, we've done it you know a hundred I mean? times, so, so oh, we, we know right. what works, and you wow. know we can help you with that process. That's great. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we have some great showers and and um, 
birthday parties and things like that. And people come up with so, such creative decorations oh, and, I bet. and yeah, I bet. offerings. <laughs> and it's really a, a lot of fun to see. Some and it of makes it memorable, too. Instead of just yeah. like renting a hall somewhere and, right. you know, here's your gifts and all yeah. that, you know. Yeah. But that's good. Yeah. Wow. So you have to check that out for your events. And, uh, oh, that's fantastic. So you want to look around, show me a little bit here and there? Sure. Well, and, uh, I, I think, you know, this is um, a room that we call the beer garden room, and it has tables mm. reminiscent of an old um, yeah. German beer garden. The uh, okay. the um, the accompaniments or the, you know, the trim and everything was done mm -hmm. to look very rustic. Yeah. And, you know, to it. tie in the the brick in the old building. Yeah. Now, you know, one of the other things about this building is that mm -hmm. this was one of the original shovel manufacturing buildings. Oh. It was later on in in the life of the shovel shop. So it wasn't, oh, you know, okay. those, those first ones. But right, right, it, right. It, oh, really? And we also huh. were told that this was the first electrified building in Easton. What? In yeah. Easton? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yep. It's yeah. really amazing. Later, later wow. known as the Steadfast Rubber Building, where they mm -hmm. made rubber boots and other rubber yeah, things yeah, yeah. for the army, uh, for the for the service over time. But that yeah. was um, isn't what, that interesting? Yeah, yeah. Wow! So you knew just what to call it. Yes, <laughs> Shovel exactly. Town. Exactly. I love it. So, wow. anyways, this is the Thank beer you. garden room, it's and beautiful. we have our, a little kitchen, open kitchen concept here. Um, mm -hmm. This nice. room was the second room that we had opened. Um, well, let's uh, go into the. Oh, you have merchandise room. that you can buy too, right? Oh yeah, we have a full set of merchandise. Oh, I love those hats, shirts. Oh, shirts. that's beautiful. Um, wow, yeah, hat, hats and I love stickers. the logo. Yeah. So when we first um, when we first opened, this was the original room. Now we call this. The oh, this one was here, right here. It was the okay. original room, and there, this room wasn't finished at all at that time. Uh, and we actually oh, okay. had the brew system in the back behind the bar here. Oh, okay. Um, since then, we've outgrown that system I have. twice. And wow. our our big brew house, which we'll see later on during the tour, yeah. is there. Oh, okay. And, um, wow. Our taps have grown oh, look from at all eight those. to 16. So we have <laughs> 16 taps and um, wow. a little prep area in the back. But primarily, oh, this it. was the first space that we had. And so right here. Hmm. Yeah. And wow. within the first couple of months, we realized that it wasn't going to cut <laughs> we it. Can fit everybody. We needed a bigger boat. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> we took on the second room here and um, we're able to uh, to build that out yeah. and have some more space for yeah. uh, people. And <laughs> Hello, Ed. Really How are you doing? <laughs> no, I love that. That's that's a great addition. Don't have time to sit down and watch ECAT programs? Don't worry, ECAT has got you covered. That's right, ECAT has podcasts! ECAT podcast channel has your favorite shows that you could listen to. For Whether you want to chill and listen to the Ron Van Dam show and hear him talk about what's bothering him that day, or the show hosted by local legends Stephanie Weinstein and Meredith Keach, where they talk about anything and everything. Or take a listen to the weekly news hosted by Jack Ryan and Abby Kitchenham. Stay tuned in with Tiger Talk, hosted by Oliver Ames students. Community Forum is where the host Priscilla talks about all things Easton. Easton residents can also find government meetings about various topics. You can find the podcast on Podbean and all your favorite podcast platforms. Just by searching ECAT or the ECAT podcast, you can find it all. The ECAT podcast channel is powered by Podbean, so either in the car ride or walking around town, you can always catch what's going on with ECAT. Happy listening! Welcome to Service Matters, a weekly radio show that talks about the good things that are happening in local communities and beyond. Since 1978, the Eastern Food Pantry has been dedicated to providing food to our neighbors in times of need. As long as there's a hungry people in our community, our doors are open, our hearts will be open to help. We also like to talk about the good things that people do to make a difference, and in many cases, to make dreams real for folks out there in need. Just to chat about, as you say, some of the good things in life, there's some of the good things, the great things and the happy things. And certainly watch us 
on ECAT, Eastern Community Access Television. My name is Harris Young, and after 13 years of talk show experience, I seek to bring you the best in interviews with some of the very best guests around, including, and here we are, experts. I've seen thousands of demons actually come out of the mirror one time. One time. Wow. Musical guests and artists. If I say how I feel. Would you really listen? An interesting characters of all types. I threw that kid across the classroom. I, I look, he didn't try that ever again. Wow. Join me at Topic Time on your Eastern cable station anytime they want to play it. And I, what I understand, that's quite a few times a day. And I love it. This is another popular area of the brewery. It's our outdoor patio space. And during the, the beautiful weather like we have today, mm. it's enjoyed by many people who come out and would like to sit outside and yeah. enjoy a beer and have some food out here. And yeah. on some nights, this patio is packed with people. Really? Some, some ah. nights it's packed in here and no one's inside. Or oh, okay, vice versa. the weather, right? Or everything's Everything's, everything's taken yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. which is great because in... And it's nicely spaced apart where you're not on top of each other either, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's a it's really, really nice space out yeah, here. And, uh, it's beautiful. And it works really well for the for the brewery. And people yeah. really enjoy the outdoor space. Yeah, I you love know, it. People love to be outdoors. And we get do. a lot of nice shade here from the trees yes. that are on, on, yep. on there. And uh, see that. It's really a, a very nice space. Very and it's a nice, nice thing to do after work sometimes, too. Exactly. You know, you have a big day at work, you come out and you're like, oh, this is nice. Yeah. Oh, very, very good. Yeah. I love it. This is blowing my mind. It so, is. I cannot. Look at the size of these things. This so, is, um, <laughs> you know, our beer had grown in popularity. When we started, It was we were had a very small system. Yeah. And we quickly outgrew that system. Okay. We went to a second system mm -hmm. and then over time outgrew that. Wow. And then we finally settled on this system. Now, originally we were brewing in the in the tap room, in the back yeah, of the tap right, room. Yeah. But we, we needed to take over more space to be able to, um, to, to produce the amount of beer that we needed to yeah, yeah. for the demand that we had. Wow. So we, we uh, invested in this brew house here. We did a renovation on this building. Did you really? Yeah. Um, it was, um, wasn't like this when we got it. Uh, we, we totally renovated it, uh, gutted it and ripped up the floor. Oh, you ripped and, up the floor too? Yeah. And wow. we, because we had to put drains in the floor, it was oh, more, right, it was right, more right. economical yeah. to, mm -hmm. um, to remove the floor, put the drains in and yeah, then, um, yeah. do that. So that was, it was a big undertaking to, to do this but yeah. um yeah wow this is a few years now and we we're we're um really happy with the way so it how came long out. has this been this room been um, uh it's open? about three years three years, three years? Uh, okay four years maybe four okay. years yeah wow look at this setup yeah so this um is this is where th this is what's known as the brew house okay um so the beer actually gets brewed here okay but brewing the beer is a relatively short process, about oh, eight is. hours or so. Oh, really? What takes the, the the amount of time is the fermentation. And those large tanks there mm -hmm. are the fermenters. Oh. And beer will have to, or the wort originally with yeast added, eventually come, becomes beer, has okay. to stay in those tanks for about 20 days, 14 Ooh. to 20 days, depending Ooh. on the beer. And then... Oh. Um, wow. It, it's ready for packaging. And this is our packaging line, so we would can and also put it into kegs using. Oh, the using packaging. this right here? Yeah, exactly. Oh, interesting. So cans come down that. Uh, okay. They get filled automatically. They yep. come out the other side and they get labeled. Wow. And then um, 
Oh. This is um, a row of fermenters. So as the fermenter gets emptied, it gets cleaned and then mm -hmm. um, re replenished with another batch of beer. So oh, these, really? these all on this side are fermenters. And then okay. we have two um, bright tanks, which allow us to do the final um, stages of the, of the beer preparation. So it's ready for packaging. And pa packaging takes place out of these tanks. So these tanks oh, are connected. Tanks. Okay. Yeah, these tanks are connected to the packaging line or the canning oh. line. Okay. And that produces the uh, the cans first. I did. Uh, so typically, wow. you know, the the um, the beer gets uh, brewed here by adding grains to hot water and steeping the grains to extract the sugar. Once oh. the sugar is extracted, then we pass it into the boil kettle, where it's it's gets boiled to concentrate the, the liquid a little bit more. Okay. And then that's where the hops get added. So the hop additions are typically added into the kettle at that point. And d depending on the beer, different uh, times in the process, the hops are added in. Wow. And then once, um, oh my once we've gone through the boil process and a yeah. whirlpool, um, the, the ready, the product ready to have yeast added to it comes through this heat exchanger, which allows oh, wow. the beer to be cooled quite rapidly. You okay. can take it from about 170 degrees right down to 70 or 60 degrees in, in no time. Really? And then that's wow. the connection to the fermenter and the fermenter gets filled with beer that's already chilled. Oh, brother. And then um, we add the yeast at that point and that's once the yeast gets added, then the fermentation process gets started. Okay. If we go down here, we may be able to see. Um, so here, here's a tank that is just starting fermentation. So you can tell by the, um, the fact that it's bubbling. So what's happening oh. here is that the yeast is consuming the sugars and generating alcohol. Really? And the byproduct is carbon dioxide. So is carbon right? dioxide comes out and it and it's that's what you see oh, in bubbles. That's the bubbles. Okay. Yeah. I mean this is a total science. This whole oh, thing yeah. is a total the science. Guys, the guys it's that amazing. work in this space. Um, they know their stuff. They have to Exactly. Do you know do you have to keep up on things, the newer sure. th ways to do yeah. things and study up? Through through training and a lot of uh, really? classes, online learning. Um really? yeah. They stay wow. in tune with what's going on in the industry. See, I had no idea that. You know, I yeah. just look at the cans and go, oh, yeah. that looks good. You know, it's just yeah. so how do you do you do just one flavor at a time? Or how well, do you do that? Each tank will hold one flavor. Really? One style of beer. Right. So, yeah, we'll do one style of beer at a time. And then you clean it out. Then and you then... clean it out and we'll do okay. another style. That must be a process to clean oh, yeah, it out. Oh, yeah, definitely a process. I mean, that's... Yeah. Wow, yeah. everything is so clean in here. Yeah, it's spotless. It's so clean. Wow, it's impressive. <laughs> that must have been an exciting day to see these <laughs> things come in, right? Oh yeah, they it was bring quite out a, a truck day. or something. It was quite a day. That must have been something else. Yeah. Wow. Oh. And in Foxborough, we have a mini system that oh, okay. uh, what we call a pilot system that allows yep. us. To, to do pilot beers there and oh, okay. do pilot. So you're not, you're not transferring everything from here to well, there. Well, that, that comes here too. So it, the oh, pilots really? go back and forth. Oh. And, you know, we okay. used to pilot here on a small system. Yep. But now we're doing all the piloting um, in Foxborough. Yeah. On a, it's a bigger system than we had originally for pilot. Oh, okay. Uh, originally we had a one barrel system. Now we have a three and a half barrel system, which is nice. Oh because we can produce enough for both Foxborough and Easton and have, oh. um, you know, unique selections. Yeah. When, as you can see with these big tanks, we're kind of committed to something. So in the pilot system allows us to do an experimental beer. Oh, that, really? That, oh, good, yeah. Yeah, that maybe not necessarily we would do um, in, in a big system, you know? Yeah, yeah. So we also can oh, see, okay. do something that, we, you know, our, our uh, customers might like and we, yeah. we get to try it out 
before first you, before we invest huge, in a, right, in a, yeah. a, a large quantity. That's really yeah. smart. That's very smart. But it's just amazing to me that you're just, wow. Wow. Oh, so you're always thinking of different uh, flavors, right? Yeah, different exactly. ways to... This one was also just Oh yeah, look at that. Starting yeah. fermentation. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. And then that I guess so all of these are early in the process. This is yep. this one's ready to go but hasn't started doing it. Oh, okay. So I mean all these the gauges and the I noticed you had um almost like a number up there, a timer or something. Oh, that there? was just a clock. Yeah, this is but a clock I mean for, but people yeah. for timing purposes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow, and what's this big white tank here what's um, that for this is actually um we produce a lot of waste water oh. but it's not um it's not terrible it's just got a lot of um biological uh, bod's they call them okay. biological um things and if yeah. we put it into the septic system it would overwhelm the septic oh, system oh of course so right. we yeah. have um a company come and pump this out just about once a week it's about that much 4500 gallons yeah no yeah you you really yeah wow and that's that is, that's crazy you know, pure wastewater that gets into a wastewater treatment plant oh good yeah disposed yeah, yeah, yeah. of properly yeah, yeah that's much easier to do it that way yeah 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 wow Oh, this is so impressive. Yeah. And then I guess the last um, the last piece of the tour that I always like to show people is um, is our walk-in. Oh, which Whoa. is <laughs> and wow. typically. So we have. Look at this. You can come on in. <laughs> you know, obviously, our, we have our beers here, Whoa. but we also store some hops, some flavors, okay, yep, yep, um, and different things for the brewing process. This is huge. Uh, I can't here. believe how much you have. Now, how long will this last? How long does beer it typically turns last? Over very quickly. Does really, it really? Yes, it does. Uh, wow, I didn't you know, realize. Like, wow. The beginning of the week, it's full. At the end of the week, it's really kind of empty. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> That is insane right there. That's just insane. Yeah. Wow. And then we have some cleaning. Um, this unit here is our keg, keg cleaner. Keg cleaning is a quite oh, a process. The kegs, yeah, okay. They're recyclable containers, obviously. Oh, yeah. Um, stainless steel containers that we use to. Um, so you actually do ke kegs to them? Oh, yes. Um, wow. A lot of our. The kegs are used in both in the top rooms, you know, both oh, here right, and of course. Yeah. yeah, okay. But also, um, we distribute these and they go to bars and restaurants around. Oh, so you actually local. you supply bars and restaurants? Oh yeah, there's a lot a lot of bars oh, and restaurants in Easton that really? buy our product and uh, and then really? all in the south coast and all around. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, oh, also, we fabulous. the cans go to liquor liquor stores around. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So I didn't realize that. Yeah. Very interesting. Wow. This is just amazing. Ah, oh, man. I love it. Now, do you ever give tours to people or anybody yeah, that's interested? Yeah, we do quite a bit. And... Um, it's kind of informal, typically. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. You know, a group might come in for, say, even for a private party yeah. and want a tour. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's so we'll, nice. We'll give them a tour. Because it's so interesting. It'll blow your mind. I just, I can't believe it. I just... This is quite a business. It really is. Congratulations. That's great. Thank you. Thank That's you very much. Really. Yep. Hi, I'm Ron Van Dam. I've been in radio for three decades now and have been doing a daily podcast style show for a few years. But well, once a week, I come to the ECAT studio where they give me wine and cheese. Hey, welcome to the program. How are you? Good to be with you. Hey, you're looking good today. Thanks for being here. Make yourself comfortable. This won't take too long. It'll be a little bit painful for you, but in the long run, it's important for you to go through this. And I do a TV version of the podcast. I talk about what's going on in the world and in the area and give my opinions on things. Uh, that's both... Uh, something to look forward to, and also a warning. 
So tune in to see me move my mouth while I talk. Who knows? We might have something in common. Probably not, but you never know. Uh, uh, catch my show here, The Ron Van Dam Show, right here on ECAT. It's The Ron Van Dam Show. Hold on tight. Things can get a bit weird if you like that sort of thing. There's a storm. Join me, Priscilla Almquist-Olson, to explore the town of Easton and its interesting, engaging, ordinary, and extraordinary people, and meet a smorgasbord of guests, including artists, authors, musicians, business owners, community organizations, clergy, local leaders, etc., etc., etc. Community Forum at 3 p.m. on Thursdays and 1.30 p.m. on Saturdays. See you then. In 2023, Easton is a tight-knit community of 25,000 people. But with the hustle and bustle of modern life, it's easy to forget our past. A time when Easton's population was 6,000. Everybody knew who everybody and everybody every, was. And, and, and there was respect. There was respect for, mm -hmm. for everyone. When kids enjoyed great freedom and independence. Everybody was poor at today's standards. But we all were in the same boat, and we enjoyed life. So join me, Priscilla Almquist Olson, as I explore what makes Easton so very special with some of its lifetime residents. I think Easton has so much to offer. And if you're living in a community, you have to know it. Watch Growing Up in Easton Tuesdays at 7 p.m. and Friday at 9 p.m. See you then. Wow, Frank, tell me about this stuff. So yeah, we have um, quite an array of merchandise. We um, oh. have- Well, that's uh, really good quality. Oh yeah, we try to get um, wow. good quality nice. goods in to make sure. Yeah, look at that. Um, so yeah, our traditional Shovel Town logo, and yep. then we've got- Oh, that's great. Um, <laughs> those are the beers on the back. Um, we also do the flyaway logo quite a bit. Those are nice shirts. Popular. Those are very nice. Yeah, yeah and then you have the hats. Um, a full selection of hats with the logo. Um, oh, some scholarly caps oh, that are always yeah. popular. Yep. <laughs> the shovel town patch on. Oh, them. look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Yep, those are very popular. Um, mugs and glassware, which also oh, that's is very, very good. popular. There's some unique mugs and glassware yes, here. Yes, they're very unique. Yep. Wow, I love that. Wow. And those mugs right there, right? Yeah, those are... That. That is a nice mug. That's very good. So I, I brought over <laughs> a, a flight of beer, just so you can see. Uh, these are a very... A flight is a very popular option here. Um, okay. So people can try, mm -hmm. um, you know, our different beers, and they enjoy um, tasting each one and maybe... They could, you know, we have 16 on tap and they you could just try. choose four. You could choose four flight. and okay. that would be a flight. And it's uh, a, approximately equivalent to one, you know, in, in volume. It's a little more than one one beer. But, Is it really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So they're they're wow. supposed to be four ounce pours. Yeah. So that would be, you know, 16 ounces. Yeah. And then. Um, uh, Those are generous portions, really. Yeah. They really are. Yeah. That's a, they're beautiful too. Look at so the different. You, you know, you can see all the different colors. Like yeah, this is the Oktoberfest, so it's oh, is got it? that okay. caramel coloring. To yeah, it. yeah, yeah. And what's this that one? This is our uh, Czech Pilsner, the so um, traditional uh, golden color. Yeah. Um, I meant this to be flyaway, but I'm not sure I oh, got the you... right one. So. Oh, okay. I think that might be Twine Cutter, our West Coast IPA. Okay. Yep. And. Um, our Dark. peanut butter stout. Oh. So, Gail, I think you need oh, to try the peanut okay. butter stout. What do you think? Should me. I try it? Okay, here we go. Cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, so people are very... That is really, really good. Yeah. You can taste it. You can taste it. Definitely. Yeah. 
Oh, thank you very much. That's and it's amazing. It's very creamy. And, it's um, very creamy. Delicious. Yeah. That's yeah, amazing. that's amazing. Yeah. Wow, that is. It's one more little sip. Oh wow, you can really taste it. Oh, wow. You have to come and try this particular <laughs> beer. Absolutely. And the name of it again is? It's, uh, we call it PB Crunch. PB Crunch. Yeah, yeah. so peanut butter crunch. <laughs> oh my uh, goodness, it, it's it, so actually, good. Actually, the coffee in it um, is there too. You get, yeah, I'm I can sure taste it. Yeah, yeah, I can taste the coffee um, too. But it's peanut butter coffee stout, or coffee <sighs> peanut butter stout, one of the two. Um, so good. But we call it PB Crunch for sure. <laughs> it's very so, good. Uh, yeah, that, trying, that's, it's a, just... that's a, like a sleeper, you know, where where people don't realize it, and we sell a ton of it. And people Do you really? really love yeah. It. yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's really good. Yeah. Oh my goodness! And it's I very keep it versatile. Over that. You know, you could drink it uh, by itself, or drink it as like a aperitif. A, a yes, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I agree with that. The other thing uh, we talked about a little bit is our mug club. Yeah, the mug so club. Yeah. Our mug club is um, is very interesting. So um, at the beginning of the mug club season, someone could purchase a mug club membership. Okay. And basically they get their own numbered mug. Oh, it's numbered. Numbered, yeah. Really? Ooh, wow. And um, when they come in, they get a fill okay. in their own mug. Whatever they want? Whatever uh, well, meal they, they want? Have to or... pay for it. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. But I mean, they could choose whatever and they whatever get Whatever they want. And then, but also what... There's some benefits that come along with being a Mug Club member. Mm -hmm. uh, you get access to releases, new releases, first first access to those new oh, releases. Oh, that's exciting, really. And um, wow. other, other things, like we have special Mug Club events um, oh, yeah. for Mug Club members and different oh, things that they can get involved in. So, that's a real community thing, too, because exactly. then you, you meet other Mug Club members, and it's kind of a community thing, right? It's very popular. Very wow. popular. And, uh, People are, are very competitive about their mug, the number they have, the lower the, lower the better, and oh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. So That's a beautiful mug, though, too. Yeah. I it, love that. And, oh, yeah. And at the end of the season, yeah. they get to keep their mug. Okay. And All so, right. um, because we switch the mug up every year, so it's a different looking mug. Oh, really? Yeah. So oh, this my one, goodness. This year's mug is, is slightly different. This was actually yeah. last year's mug. Oh, okay. We, we buy a few extras in case of breakage or whatever. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And then um, we sell those off at the end of the year. Too. Oh, you sell them off? Yeah. That would be a great collection to have at home. It would you know what be. I mean? And also so to uh, drink coffee out of in the morning. And then right. you can put a shot of That's right. <laughs> Forget the coffee. <laughs> the peanut butter crunch in there and have, have that. So, um, oh, my goodness. That is so amazing. It's just, yeah. this really is. You have to come here. You have to check it out. And even if you have checked it out, you need to come back and see all the new things and the new selections. So I'm very impressed. Come on down and also and uh, check out. grab a shovel. Grab a shovel. That's right. <laughs> Look at the shovel right here. That is so great. It really is. Also, check out Station One too. Here yeah, in the area, Station right? One. Check that yeah. out also because um, uh, that's a great spot. And yeah, the food is fantastic there. We yeah, get fantastic. Good wow. Um, yeah, I had them make wow. us uh, one of our <gasps> signature pizzas. Oh come on! It's absolutely delicious. Oh. It's a chicken Bianca. Oh, um, oh my Fresh goodness. tomatoes, chicken. Wow. Uh, a bacamel cheese sauce oh, that's um, and some basil and it's absolutely delicious that you looks guys absolutely have amazing to have, so. yeah oh that's why I, I can actually it. try it you may try are it are you ready for this okay here we go mm. oh my goodness the flavor is unbelievable and it's very very popular. Mm. We but all of our flatbreads so uh, do really well and really delicious. Yes, all fresh absolutely. ingredients. It tastes um, very fresh. Yeah, very fresh. Good evening and welcome to another edition of For the Love of Words. After a three-year hiatus, join me, John Holgerson, and. 
Priscilla Almquist Olson. As we interview poets and musicians. Could you give the audience a, a little summary of your background as a child? When I turned seven or so, we were car bomb. That stuck out. And have them share their love of words. Sometimes I wonder, do you ever think of me? A thin broth of moonlight caught in the trees spreads across the garden brush so one side of every stick shimmers while the other sides melt into one another, a mass grave of cherry, pear, and pine. For the Love of Words at 7 p.m. on Thursdays. Hello, welcome to Easton News. I'm Abby Kitchenham. And I'm Jack Ryan, and together we bring you everything you need to know about Easton, including politics. The annual town election is scheduled for Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. Community events. Be inspired. Counseling presents a parent and child coping workshop centered around a new year and new beginnings. And sports. Pressure builds diamonds, so we, we live by that every day of practice, going into every game. With APCSM guest segment, Pet of the Week. Hi, I'm Katie with the Animal Protection Center, and today we have a little Iris. With help from special correspondent, Wyatt Fain. Join us. For Easton News. Playing 6 o'clock, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. Hi, sports fans. Easton Community Access Television, that's ECAD. Your place for all of Ames high school sports. How about football, hockey, basketball, soccer, gymnastics, swimming, wrestling, lacrosse, field hockey, and more? Join us on Comcast 97 and Verizon Channel 23. Um, what days are you open and what hours are you usually open? Yeah, so um, we're open um, Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday we open at 3 o'clock. Wednesday thir and Friday we open at 3 o'clock. Saturday's at noon and Sunday's at noon. Uh, Saturday we go to 10 o'clock mm -hmm. and Sundays we uh, close at 6. Oh, okay. And then yeah. Wednesday through Thursday, you close at? Um, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, okay. Yeah, Friday's oh, 10 o'clock. Friday's 10 o'clock. Oh, those are good hours. Those are perfect hours. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah, works well for us and most people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only The other thing I was going to mention was that if you need to, uh, you want to check us out online, you could go to uh, www.shoveltownbrewery.com. And that will bring you to a landing page where you can check out either Shoveltown Brewery or Station One. Oh, really? So it's yep. both on the... Oh, good. Yep. Oh, good to know. And okay. then if you want to interact with us, send us an email. You can do that at info at shoveltownbrewery.com. Oh, okay. Oh, good to know. Okay, so there's two ways you can do that. So that's great. Yeah. Good information. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. This has been a fun, fun show. And as you can see, you have to come over here and, and check it out. So good. Thank you so much. Thank you. All and right. thanks to ECAP for all you guys do. Thank you very much. Well, until next time on Discover Easton, we'll see you then.